Hey, good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are all having a good time, uh, wherever you guys are. Today we got a new unboxing video, and you won't believe what is to my left. Nonetheless, below the iPhone 5S, which is my brother's. Okay, um... We'll let my brother pass by, cover the camera real quick, so because I don't want to reveal my brother. And now he'll close the door. Okay, uncovering now. We are going to be unboxing. Yes, you heard me. I have an Apple Watch Series 1. Alright, let's get this out of the box. Here we go. I do not know how big the casing is. It could be a... I think it's like 32 or 48 millimeters casing. Let's see what's in here. So you pull this out. This is like the instruction guide. Oh, wow. A lot of guiding. For... And there goes my brother's new... Um, hoverboard, because he got a hoverboard for Christmas. Believe that or not. Okay, we really don't need to look at this. This is just... Not needed, I don't think. Now, where did I leave the watch itself? Where did I leave it? Take a look, take one more look at the box before that box goes bye-bye. Or before if I need it for anything. Here's the inner lock, the inner casing. That is basically what the Apple Watch is. I think I just lost it. Real quick, let me take a look at the paper and guidance stuff because we will need this. This is the charger. And I don't think it comes with a power adapter. No, it doesn't. This is just a standard Apple Watch charger. I know a lot of you have seen that before. It is pretty small, actually. I have a power adapter to my left, but it doesn't work. And I believe I could be wrong. Let me find my Apple Watch. Oh, there it is. There's the box. There it is. Take a look at the view. I was going to use my brother's iPhone to see if I can set it up and factory reset it because I'm actually my mom is giving me her iPhone 7, which never worked. It, it's set up and everything, but we need to figure this out. So let me figure out how this works. It looks like it's meant to track down your steps. Actually, I don't know if I want to figure this out right now. I'll show you how the dock charging works. So it does not go on the dock like this. You'll see something. It is a magnetic charging dock for your Apple Watch. Amazing. I don't think I'm going to take this today anywhere because I need to set up the iPhone. And my brother's iPhone is dead. At least I think it is. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Um, get a view of the watch. And it is brand new. It's series 1. Gotta love Series 1. This is, the, like, I think this is the original Apple Watch. And as soon as I set this up, I gotta get updating it to, to Watch OS 5.2.3. Think it is already or 5.1.2 i need to look at the software update that's for it if you already know the software update comment down but i will look it up and um put it in the description if the software update if the current software update for the apple watch is not in the description comment it down this i believe could be a 32 millimeters case I do have another watch. Not an Apple watch, though. No, I wanted one of these. 
first I'll show you how it does in the box. It's kind of hard to get this out of the box once you get a feel for it. But, I'm going to... Okay, I don't know how this is supposed to go. Okay, try not to break it because it will Apple products are just very sensitive. I think that's how it goes. I think so okay, no, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I think it'll Oh, you know what? The hinges are supposed to be adjusted in a certain way. That's why it wouldn't go in. Don't, I don't even know how much this cost. $300, I think. I don't even know if the Apple stores are carrying this one anymore. Could, they could have just bought it. Um, they, I could have just gotten it from somewhere else. This is a glass screen, of course. Gotta love the glass. And me. I don't even know if this is charged or not. Love these buttons. These are the only buttons on the Apple Watch phase. On any Apple Watch. But I'll I'll be able to get started with any with it anyways. Um since since you know it's really not going to affect me once I get started with it, but I'll see if I can try to put it on my wrist again. If I, if I can't put it on my wrist, then I'm going to have to figure this out by myself later after I'm done filming. Uh and this is a tight squeeze, like a blood pressure system that you'll that you'll see at the doctors or hospitals, whatever. It is a tight squeeze. Actually, I'm not sure how this is supposed to go. Can we lean my arm against myself? Yes. All right. I don't think I co I can get it to work right now. But let me see if I can actually attach it into this connection. Eh, there we go. Nope, I don't know. I don't think I can get it to work or not. What's the tightest thing? Oh, you know what I think it could be? You actually have to turn your wrist away so that the muscle part is facing you. Okay, this is going to be kind of hard. But anyways, I'm going to start charging this. And then when my mom gives me the other iPhone, because she has an iPhone 6 right now. The iPhone 7, she just couldn't activate it properly. She's like, it wouldn't work. And there's my father downstairs yelling. Okay, well, we're going to have to figure this out. Uh, I don't know what type of power adapter this is supposed to use. Because... It didn't come with no power adapter. Um, and I'm pretty sure that this this speaker right there, there's a few holes on the watch. It comes like that. It's not broken, not, nothing like that. Let's put this back in the case now. And it, and in case you're wondering. The buttons are supposed to be facing you if you're going to put it in the box. That way it goes in just as easily. And the, the system actually does fit perfectly fine in there. Please tell me I already activated voiceover on this. What? Okay.
Kennst du? I don't know what I'm doing. Turkish? I know, I understand these languages. A little. Okay, so I'm already in the setup process, and I don't think I'm going to be able to set this up with an iPhone, I don't think. But while we can... And now the watch is restarting. Okay. You know what? This is the speaker right here. I didn't notice that. So I'm going to cover it up real quick just so you can... Video. 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 Light swarming in a sphere. That is used to pair the Apple Watch when aligned with the yellow box on your iPhone. Okay, this is kind of becoming hard to use. Let me turn off voiceover again and turn it back on so you can see what I'm doing. Voiceover off. So it's the dial button. Please tell me that this has the iPhone 10 features. It, okay, now it's telling me to get my iPhone closer to my Apple Watch in a few different languages. Alright, I'm going to shut this off now. We are going to reset, actually. Reset. Button. Reset. Button. Reset. In progress. Okay, and I didn't notice that I actually turned it on. Very awkward. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now, but let me see if I can get it, get it to go to charging. It don't matter how I put it on the dock. Yeah, this is becoming kind of starting to become a long video. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out on my own off camera because I can't get it to work right now. Let's see if I can get some get a go on the Apple Watch Series One, and I'll prove to you. That this power adapter doesn't don't even work. Oh, these cords are hard to plug in. There goes the box. See that? It's not even charging, I don't think. Yeah, it's not even working. Alright. I don't even know if it's turned on or not. I think it is. All right, I'm gonna have to figure this out with an adult, cause I don't know if it's turned on or not. All right, thanks for watching this unboxing video of the Apple Watch Series One, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, Merry Christmas, all ya.